What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news from yesterday. Since it's Friday, this is the last news video of the week unless something crazy gets leaked later today. So with that being said, hit a like on this video because it's Friday and if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the red button just below the video. Now in this video, we have Adidas, Nike, and Jordan brand and one thing from Fila. Fila usually isn't featured here, but I needed to make sure it was in this video. And with that being said, let's jump into the news. Recently, the extraordinary Stan Lee tribute event in Beverly Hills went down and Fila gifted Marvel's Stan Lee with his own Fila Original Fitness. And that comes in cream and navy. Using 10 bold pops of color were hand embroidered on the back collar of the shoe, representing Lee's most iconic Marvel characters, such as Spider-Man, the Incredible Hulk, and Iron Man. His famous moniker, Nuff Said, is visible through the footwear's translucent ice outsole while extraordinary Stan Lee logo is placed on the hill. The second pair was signed by Stan Lee, which was given to the auction winner to support Omaze and make a wish. There was a second pair that was given to VIP attendees of the Fila Original Fitness that incorporates Fila's iconic silhouettes and its white, navy, and red colorway with custom elements notable to Mr. Lee. The back collar also features embroidered representing Lee's most iconic Marvel characters with Stan Lee's signature in gold. Following we have Nuff said seen on the panels with the gum outsole that completes the look. So these two models are not expected to release at the time of shooting this but if they do I will make sure to let you guys know. Adidas along with Boston retailer Concepts are celebrating their first ever co-curated Adidas exclusive boutique. The new Adidas Concept store is located at 73 Newberry Street in Boston and will officially open its doors this Friday, which is actually today, August 25th. The new store will be 1,200 square feet and will feature models including the Adidas NMD, Ultra Boost, Alpha Bounce, EQT, and various Adidas Yeezy styles. In addition, they will have various silhouettes from the Adidas basketball line. Also on opening day, there will be limited restocks. I don't know which models that will restock, but they open their doors today at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. In September, Adidas Originals will release a new Adidas CS2, also known as City Sock 2, and Adidas NMD R2. The two will feature a new graphic across the prime knit uppers. The CS2 features trace green across the uppers as well as raw pink accents. In addition, it'll have a white boost midsole and a black outsole. For the R2, that pair will feature raw pink throughout and then will have trace green accents while white hits the boost midsole and black on the outsole. The two will drop on September 8th at select Adidas Originals retailers and the retail price each will be 170. With fall almost here, you can expect Adidas to drop multiple Ultra Boost 3.0s and that will take place before the 4.0 comes and then I'm pretty sure the 3.0 is done. But with that being said, we have a look at a fall shoe. This features night green and that is plastered throughout. It lands on the prime knit and three stripes cage. In addition, we do have black on the heel counter and the outsole while white on the boost midsole completes the look. No set release date, they're expected to show up sometime during the fall season and the retail price will be 180. In yesterday's video, I shared an image of Kanye West wearing the Adidas Yeezy Power Phase in triple gray. But now, Kim Kardashian has shared not only the triple gray edition, but the triple black as well. Just like the name suggests, this shoe comes in all black. There is a little bit of red that hits the trefoil branding on the sides. It isn't known if either of these two models will release. Some people are saying it's possible for a fall or winter drop. I'm not sure about it. This has not been confirmed. On to Nike, and first up we have the Nike Air Max 1 Jewel, which comes in a predominant dusty peach takeover. Now these names sometimes make me laugh just because to me this just looks like a red, but either way, they do feature dusty pink across the leather uppers. We do have black accents that hits the jeweled swoosh, the Nike branding on the tongue and outsole. Completing the look is white on the midsole, and once again dusty peach within the air unit. Now this is one of those pairs that won't have a release date, however they have started to show up at select Nike sportswear retailers. One of them is sneakers and stuff, and the retail price is $140. We have a new pack from Nike which takes two Air Force One lows, puts them together for the floral sequin pack. One pair comes in December sky, the other pair is done in binary blue. The two are constructed with denim, and as you can see there is roses, one lands on the toe, the other lands on the side, and then the third one, which is a bit weird, but that actually lands on, or by the heel I should say, 
and it overlaps the midsole. In addition, the two are completed with white across the midsole and outsole. The release date is set for September 1st. Currently, there is not a retail price. I would assume this might be a bit higher than your traditional Air Force One release. In this video, we'll have a few sets of official images, and first up is the Nike Air More of Tempo dressed in university blue and white. So the shoes will drop on September 1st. Retail price will be $160. I've gone over the shoe probably three times now, so I'm not going to go into too much of the details. I do believe this will be a GR though, and I should have a review out soon. I need to go pick those up, so be on the lookout for that. On September 9th, the University of Oregon football team will take the field in a new head-to-toe system designed by three brave kids, student athletes, and Nike designers as part of the Dorn Becker Freestyle Program. In addition, they are also releasing the Nike Air Max 90 Ultra 2.0 Oregon just before the team takes the field. This Nike Air Max 90 incorporates design elements from the uniform including inspiring graphics, modern use of color fade, camo patterns, and motivating slogans personal to the kids. All proceeds from the sales will benefit a pediatric cancer fund at OHSU Dornbecker Children's Hospital. The Nike Air Max 90 Ultra 2.0 Dornbecker aka Oregon Ducks is scheduled to release on September 4th. The retail price will be $130 and they will be available in full family sizing. Our second set of official images is on the Nike Zoom Vapor Tour AJ3 Fire Red. In a short span, we have covered this pair quite a bit, but the official images gives us the best look we've seen, so I did want to throw these in. As you can see, they do feature the Fire Red theme that was originally seen on the Air Jordan 3. In addition, we do have the Nike Air branding on the heel, and then we have the Jumpman on the tongue, RF branding located on the side, a part of the midsole, which is for Roger Federer. A wider release is set to take place on September 10th at select Nike sportswear retailers. The retail price is 200. At the time of shooting this, I do not know the availability, but if I'm going to guess, these will be limited. New images of the Nike Little Posit Pro Nerf has landed and we do have some release information as well. To be specific, there is two dates that are floating around. One, I believe, will change, but I'll get to that in a second. So the Nerf theme was originally seen on the Nike KD4, and that pair goes for an insane amount of money, and the overall inspiration is from the Nerf basketball hoops. Since this is a little posit pro, for those that don't know, this is a GS exclusive. They're not releasing in adult sizes, unfortunately. I'm sure some people would like these, but I feel that Nike kind of missed the boat, and I said this previously on the whole Nerf theme. So, as for the release details, I'm going to start off by saying the retail price will be $180. Shoe Palace has them listed to release on September 1st. However, Foot Locker and additional retailers have them set to drop on September 16th. So I believe the September 16th date is the one that will stick. And I also think Shoe Palace will change their date from September 1st to the 16th. I think Soulfly caught wind of my video yesterday because I was kind of talking bad about their collaboration on the Jordan 1 Modero, which is not really like the Jordan 1. If you missed that, make sure to check out the previous news video. But I'm just joking, they probably didn't. Some of you might remember, but Soulfly released their collaboration on the Air Jordan 3, known as Lotto. They shared some images on their Instagram account, which shows an alternate theme of the Air Jordan 3 Lotto, as well as an Air Jordan 3 golf shoe. Now the Air Jordan 3 golf shoes, they come in the Lotto theme. Now the Air Jordan 3 comes in a reverse or alternate Lotto theme. And instead of elephant print, we have just a smooth iridescent finish and that's done in purple. Now we also have pink, which lands on the heel, outsole, and eyelets. And I feel like I'm going backwards on this description, but we also have white on the base, black on the midsole, a flamingo on the tongue, and it looks like yellow on the inside of the tongue. The two aren't scheduled to release, I highly doubt they ever will, but it's kind of cool to see them because to my knowledge, I don't think these have leaked until now. But with that being said, there is an upcoming collaboration with Soulfly, it is on the Air Jordan 17 Low, which will drop in 2018. There's another one that's supposed to drop in November, and that is the Jordan Trunner LX High. And for those that are really interested in those Jordan 1 Moderos, or however you say it, those drop this weekend. Man, Drake has really been killing it with all these Air Jordan exclusives he's been receiving. There might be samples. I really don't know what the deal is. Not long ago, I shared with you two exclusive Air Jordan 11 snakeskin colorways, which were given exclusively to Drake. 
He also had an Air Jordan 5 Tokyo that has black on the midsole, different from the release version. Now he has shared an Air Jordan 4 along with two Air Jordan 8s. The Air Jordan 4 is dressed in black, white, and red. Now this pair is being called multicolor, but maybe something different like a splatter or something nicknamed to do with that would be better. And as you can see, there is splatter print across the midsole as well as the heel. And speaking of the heel, we have Nike Air branding. Now, as for the Air Jordan 8s in this video, one is being called the Air Jordan 8 Kentucky Blue Midnight Madness PE. That pair is done in black, white, and blue. It does have UK across the bunny ears, AKA straps, with a little bit of metallic gold. The second pair is the Air Jordan 8 Oakley Raptors PE. And this pays tribute when Charles Oakley was playing for the Toronto Raptors. It looks like this pair features white, blue, and red, as well as a little bit of gold. We do have 34 on the strap and oak by the collar. Unfortunately, none of these are going to release at this time. Who knows what the future may bring, but I might be the only one that actually likes the Air Jordan 4 with the multicolor, aka splatter throughout it. I love the Nike Air branding. It does kind of have an OG vibe to it, but maybe that's just me. Let me know in the comments below of these three, which do you like best? Before I talk about what's on the screen, big shout out to Jays Are Dead on Instagram. There will be a link in the description below. He actually put together the Photoshop image of the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray that is in the thumbnail. Second, this video was provided by Z Sneakerhead Z as well as Kickstreams on Instagram. There will be links to both of them in the description as well. Now, we know that the Air Jordan 11 Low Cool Gray is returning in 2018. Well, that's what's going around, but more than likely it's gonna happen. You just never know. Sometimes Jordan brand decides to scrap models. But the pair shown is said to be a Michael Jordan PE and is a sample. Now, if I had to guess, the Air Jordan 11 Low Cool Gray will look pretty much just like this. I mean, it is the cool gray theme, it's just in low top form. But you never know what Jordan brand that can switch things up. And according to Z Sneakerhead Z, he said something similar will release. So if that's the case, they may look a little bit different than your traditional cool gray Air Jordan 11. But to give you additional information on the Air Jordan 11 low cool gray, they feature medium gray, gun smoke, and white. They will drop during April of 2018 and the retail price will be 175 And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. So what I like from this video would be the Nike Zoom Vapor Tour AJ3 Fire Red. Seems like a very long name to actually say. The Nike Air More Uptempo University Blue, I said that in a previous video. The Air Jordan 3 by Soulfly, Lotto, Alternate Lotto, whatever you want to call them. Man, those are really dope. I like what they did there. Even though they don't feature elephant print, it's just something totally different. But honestly, I'd rather have the other Lotto, the original one. All three of the Air Jordans shown by Drake, I want and I won't be able to get. But if I had to pick one, it would be the Air Jordan 4. I just think that looks insanely dope. Last but not least is the Air Jordan 11 Low Cool Gray. Now, I really don't like low top Air Jordans for the most part, with the exception of original releases. So. The Air Jordan 2 came in low top form originally. The Air Jordan 13, the Air Jordan 14, you guys get where I'm going with this. The Air Jordan 11 low, that kind of gets a pass. It depends on the colorway. And the cool gray definitely gets a pass for me. But leave a comment below. Let me know from this video what you liked or what you disliked. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.